Welcome to Berserk Recharged. Still trying to figure out all the buttons here. So dash. Looks like there's a delay after doing so. It's probably how you dodge fire. So we have to hold the fire button down to control where we're or where we're going to fire using the right stick. Okay. I think I've got this. Let's go. Oh. So those kind of many looking enemies there, the smaller ones like to dive bomb you. Okay. One thing I'm going to try to focus on here is to destroy all the enemies because like in the classic arcade game, yes, and I guess the 2600 version too, if you destroy all the enemies, you get a power up, well not a power up, but a score boost for doing so. Yeah, so I got 300 points for that. I don't think I much care for this. Uh, I took some damage there. A railgun's kind of unwieldy. It's slow, but it does go through walls, so that's pretty handy. And you don't get, I don't think, you get extra lives based on score. Oh, those dive bomb enemies are tricky. But there are power-ups you can get that increase your health. Haven't seen one yet, though. As much as I would like to make them come to us. Ah, not this again. Evil Auto cannot be destroyed. That little bouncing ball dude. So instead, trying to quickly destroy the enemy safely and move on to the next room. Which I'm just picking at random, honestly. There we go. So my high score, the one time I played it this morning to make sure everything worked right, was 16,000. I may not get it this time because I confused a power up for an enemy. Oops. Okay. So when you dash, you can go through bullets. Good to know. Watch out for evil auto there. And that green little heart thing, that was an extra health. The health pickup. One thing I think I like about this version more than the original is it doesn't stop even if you take damage. But that also means the game can end just as quickly. So that's my best so far. I think I can do better than that. Let's go. Ah, those dive bomb enemies are tough. Okay, so you have to watch out for evil auto here. Happy little dude. Phew! So that's what a mine does. I think it's proximity based, but not dealing with the dive bombers in that particular room, so mine didn't quite work. Maybe I should have saved it for a different room. I have to play carefully here. Evil Auto is going to spawn in two seconds. You're not always a smiling face, you're supposed to be Mr. Otto. Right now, Evil Otto isn't that big of a deal because he's as fast as we are, but I'm pretty sure he moves faster as the game goes on. Bye, Mr. Otto. Okay, 7,000 points, but we're at full health right now. So far, so good. Yeah, destroying all the robots in the room is definitely the right idea. 
There we go. I was afraid of that. Oh, that's not the way to go. I have to go to one of the flashing rooms, I guess. Good to know. Probably should have guessed, but it is what it is. Okay, so there are some walls you can... Ah, that was tricky. There are some walls that you can shoot through, others you cannot. Good to know. I guess the thicker walls are the ones you can't. Oh, cool. That's pretty handy. It only took 70 shots to take care of him, but hey, we got him. That's all that matters, right? Here, Mr. Otto. Room number 10. I wonder how many rooms there are. I didn't see much of a difference between Super Dash and Regular Dash. Oh, that was silly. I have three health left. Oh, good. Four health left. Three health left. <laughs> Just as quickly as you as it comes, it goes. I definitely need that health. This is my best run so far. I don't want to lose it already. Okay, have to watch out for those turrets. Those are pretty tricky. Hey, Mr. Otto. What's going on? You don't seem like that big of a... that bad of a dude with that smiley face you have. I bet those electric walls will... Uh, fry you just like they do in the original game. Let's not find out. Alright. Got a good multiplier going on here. I think it's based on how many robots you destroy before the multiplier runs out. And so far, I believe 5 is max. I almost missed you there. I want to get the bonus for room clear, so let's go. Okay. So do I have two? No, my power up ran away. Oh, that was silly. Come on now. Those turrets are tough. Tougher than robots so far. There we go. 30,000. It's a much better run than the first one. I'm sure it's nowhere near the record or anything. But I guess that just comes with practice. A health pickup would be really nice. Ah, oh, rats. Oh, well. You alright there, buddy? That robot was having a time. Poor thing. Alright, let's go left this time. Not sure if there's a difference. There may be. I don't know what I just picked up there. I picked up let's walk up <laughs> into enemy fire to try to find out what that did, but that was a mistake. Well, not impervious to that. Evil Auto is an instant game over. Good to know. I have to watch out for those walls. There we go. I'm Evil Otto. So the glass walls can be broken. I kind of figured that it would work like that. I just wanted to make sure because I didn't want to be stuck. Can you blame me? Well, nothing to do with you, Mr. Evil Otto there. So far I'm enjoying this. It's not quite what I expected. It's not the Berserk I knew, but I really enjoy twin stick shooters, so this works very well. It's right up my alley. And I guess I'm fortunate that a lot of, Oh, I missed one! A lot of these recharged games 
are basically twin stick shooters. Twin stick meaning the left the left controller is what or control pad or analog stick or what you want to call it is how you move your character and the right stick is how you aim in this game ah, unlike the others you have to hold a trigger to actually fire which I mean the original worked like that too you had to hold a button to actually fire but it's a little different than the other twin stick shooters where you just fire based on where you're where you're aiming I really don't like railgun the one time it could have come in handy I lost it oh well that wasn't that good of a run I can do better than that I'm sure let's go down this time I'm pretty sure that the rooms are different based on which direction we start but I'm not sure exactly what difference it makes not that I care much I'm just playing the game just for the fun of it seeing what's what it has to offer risky but I really wanted that room clear bonus okay that may be the trick got the turret there we go and we're out you alright game? oh guess it was loading there for a second Ooh, I wonder what that does don't want to waste it here I don't think okay so you get bonus points if you collect health if you're at full health I was hoping that's how it worked shield would come in handy doesn't protect me from evil auto here but oh well I tried to dash right above him mistakes were made let's go down again turrets the toughest enemy so far at least for me I think they're tougher than the dive bombers but for me that's the case I'm sure the other people playing this game may have their preference of enemies and disagree with me and that's perfectly fine too try to dash there but I think I dashed right into that bullet it's hazardous to your health I wouldn't recommend doing that I have one health left? I think so. Yeah. Sure do. I'm still trying to learn, still kind of getting the hang of things. One of the complaints that people have when well people had whenever they saw this compared to the original as the original was more slow paced where you had I believe only one shot at a time and you had to pick your shots and make sure that you avoided your opponents bullets when you were shooting your own but this game is pretty slow as well at least I get the impression that it is. And I'm okay with slower as well. I just kind of wish the robot voices were louder because they were a big aspect of the original Berserk. The whole chicken fight like a robot thing. If you didn't destroy all the enemies in a room. That's just a great line, especially considering all the robots we're destroying here. Oh nice, that was lucky. Got it. Here kitty kitty kitty. 
See, right now, Big Auto, or Evil Auto, I guess he's kind of both, because he's bigger in this game. A big, happy bouncing ball. But Evil Auto is as fast as we are, so not much of a threat yet. And kind of dance around him, get him stuck in walls, having him chasing you. Okay, Red Walls are your friend, because you can fire through them and you're... Are these robots your opponents? Because I don't think he fired through there like I did. Okay. Evil Auto comes pretty quickly in this game. Just wanted to see if maybe we got points or something for shooting Evil Auto, but we do not. Still trying to explore, experiment the game. See how it works. Getting stuck in walls. Haven't seen very many electric. Whew. Electric walls, though. Had to make sure that I didn't get vaporized by Evil Auto there. Okay, let's make him come this way. Yeah, there we go. Not sure how that's going to help much here with these uh, walls in a way, but... Ooh, that was almost a mistake. I'll take a shield into the next room. Sure, let's go. Play a bit more aggressively. I've been pretty passive so far. So I'm trying to get a decent score here. But since I've only been playing this for a little bit here because I got it just before work and played it once at that time I don't know what a good score for me is yet oh these turrets they're a tricky bunch why do I do this <laughs> I want that score bonus is a thing 306, okay. 306.15. That's almost my best. Almost. Let's go right this time. Honestly, I don't pay much attention to whether the rooms are changing much. I'm just kind of taking each room as it comes. And walking right into enemy fire. Okay. I was watching my score there to see if I got the room clear bonus. I did, so I bailed. I do enjoy how you can navigate around the bullets in this game, too. Oh, nice. That's how that works. I saw that a few times, and I didn't know what it did. Because I can... Barely hear the robot voice, but that's okay. Full restore, I am okay with. Let's get out of here. There we go. Bouncing shot is pretty fun to work around. I enjoy that. Power up quite a bit. Because you can do trick shots with him. Trick shots I quite enjoy in games that allow them. Even if they're accidental, they look cool. And that goes a long way. This game also has a challenge mode, or mission mode, I guess. It's basically the same thing. We'll definitely be looking at that, too, because I enjoy games that have that. Makes you play the game in a different kind of way. Easy. Lots of bombers in this room. Dive bombers. Did I get them all? I think I did. I'm trying to find out which rooms are more dangerous, or which colors are more dangerous. I kind of think, and I may be mistaken, that yellow is more dangerous than green, but these enemies seem to fire more. So maybe I'm mistaken, and green is more dangerous than yellow. 
It's not usually the case in video games, but... I'm going to hold on to that and see what it does later. And we're out. Hey, buddy. I kind of think the Eradicator destroys all enemies in a room. So I'm going to hold on to that until I can see a good time to use it. Easy. Shotgun to the rescue. That may be my favorite power-up yet. I was watching the robot below. I'm completely blind to fire sometimes. Which probably isn't the best way to play the game, but what can you do? What? I don't know what that did. I wonder if it destroys all the bullets on a screen or if it does something to Evil Auto. I'm not sure. May have to experiment with that later. And actually learn how to hit something with my fire too. That might help. Why Railgun? I don't like Railgun. No, thank you. It fires too slow, and with my aim as bad as it is, it doesn't help. Yeah, I was told to fight like a robot there. I didn't. Open! Open! No! Okay, that was close. I don't want to get evil autoed with a score like this. I'm doing pretty good so far. Best run yet. Nice, nice. Got the full 5 multiplier for room clear. Ooh, oranges now. These are definitely tougher, I'm sure. We got there. 40? <laughs> oh. I tried to weave between fire, that didn't work. Rats. I haven't had a health pickup in a while. Got quite a few achievements there. Let's check some of the modifiers before we start playing. You know what? before we start playing the missions. Okay, so I can't dash, and there won't be any power-ups. Good thing I didn't play uh, die in one hit mode, because <laughs> the game would have been over in seconds. But I think no pickups also means no health pickups either, so... Although I should be playing the safer, I don't think I am. But I think learning this game will just take time. I wasn't I wasn't sure that it that robot would have been taken out there and Evil Auto was on his way, so kinda got lucky, I think. Got a little lucky there. Yeah, so far I still think I'm enjoying this. I'm not sure if this is my favorite recharge game, but I think it's up there. I guess it depends on what mission mode's like. Boy, did I take two damage in this room? That's embarrassing. It could have been three if I wasn't careful. And I wasn't. <laughs> ah well. Sometimes I forget I can't dash. And nowhere near my best. Embarrassingly, it almost was. Okay, cannot dash. So dive bombers are going to be a problem. I have to keep that in mind. But maybe I can do a little better than that. 
Maybe. Okay, I wanted to see if the robot cleared that uh, wall there at the bottom, but it didn't. So even if they are there at the bottom, those walls account for them too. Good to know. I kind of want to deal with the turret before I deal with the bombers. I don't see a safe way to do this. Just kidding, I just found a safe way. Open, 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 open! No, I didn't! And evil, evil auto just bouncing there after they get you. That's really funny to me. Okay, so what do I do with this one? Let's check the missions out. Okay, so there's a score. Which means there are probably leaderboards here too. Haven't had to make a room decision yet. Not that I've taken any real time to consider which door I go through. I wonder if completing this, your lives will count as a bonus at the end. So if possible, I'm going to try not to take damage. But it's not possible because it's me. Oh, I see you there, Mr. Bomber. That wasn't bad. Hmm. No, lives don't make a difference. Okay. Let's go down. Rats. Bad start, bad start. That's okay because losing lives doesn't penalize you score wise. Okay, so bailing on a room and coming back in mission mode resets the evil auto timer. Good to know. That may come in handy later. There's a health pickup. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Definitely going to need that. My health was a little lower than I thought. Which means I'll have to be even more careful than I usually am not in these kinds of games. Ooh, a choice. Interesting. Didn't have a choice. I was wondering if I could double back, but that's where Evil Auto was going to be. Made it! Okay, this time we're going to go left, because I think we went up the first time. Let's see the other variation of this mission. But there may be more variations than I thought. All I have to do is the impossible, and that's remember what I just did. <laughs> Okay, this is looking familiar. This room, anyway. Cool, cool. Okay, I went up last time. Let's go left. Easy. Those dive bombers are mean. I don't like them. Okay, I've definitely gone this way. So maybe it's all connected. Because I'm definitely not paying attention where I just went. So I guess there... I guess there's only the... 
Ah, uh, here we go. The only, only the potential to decide the path, but you're still going in every room. And this one definitely has choices that you can make. So the potential to make decisions was a lie. But here, they definitely apply. So these emissions are becoming a bit more complicated, which I'm okay with. I mean, as far as the, the paths you can take, it's still pretty much the same overall gameplay. But I'm okay with that too. I didn't get to keep my multiplier. Because I wouldn't want things to change drastically. This wouldn't be Berserk anymore if that was the case. There's an Impervious. I don't think I'm going to need it in this room. So I'm going to hold on to it. May need it in here. Sometimes you're right. <laughs> it's a speed up, but I think avoiding evil auto is more pressing. Did I make it? I guess I did. Go team. I don't really know what each of these missions mean in regards to challenges, so I'm just hoping I'm doing it right by shooting robots and trying to get shot slightly less. A shotgun, I'm okay with. That'll definitely help here, I'm sure. Oh yeah, it already did. Ah. Wait, where do I go? Back this way? Interesting. Okay. That's mean. Bouncy shot. Can definitely come in handy here. Yeah, so far this mission's been really nice about which power-ups it gives you. Oh, so I guess the gimmick behind this one is a lot of doubling back, so you have to learn how to navigate around Evil Auto. Interesting. So I think I went up already. Did I go down? I did not go down. Okay. So a lot of there and back again this time. Okay, so we got another room down here. Let's go. Boy, I really enjoy shotgun. Okay. Operation Trick Evil Auto again. Here, kitty kitty. There's your little smiley face. Look at the little guy. Oh. You sure are scary, aren't you? With a funny little face. Alright, this is the last set, I think. Doubling back into enemy fire is not wise. There are probably healthier decisions that could have been made. I was about to say, I hope that sound effect plays otherwise I don't know where else to go. Alright, next one. So far, only given one option. But I wonder what the uh, gimmick to this one is. So far, there isn't much of one.
but since there are leaderboards for mission mode as well, collecting the health pickups when you're at full health and getting that bonus is definitely important. Okay, don't think I'll need it in this room. But I'll use it anyway. Just to move on. Fine, you don't want me to go that way, Mr. Turret? I'll go this way. Tricking evil auto, doesn't know where to go. Got a little stuck there. Your new body can't handle it. Poor little guy. Well, poor bigger than me guy in every kind of way. <laughs> Rats, no bonus points there, but that's okay. We're still doing fine. The tower is dealt with. One of the few times real guns helpful for me. Because my aim is so bad. Having slower fire rate is not helpful for me. Even if it does pierce through walls. There we go. Another mission complete. He's playing around with evil out of there. Trying to see if he can catch me. Didn't quite, but he tried. And you get points for trying. Mines? Okay. Mines are best, I think, for dive bombers, but I haven't seen any yet. Oh boy, what do I do now? This is bad. Slightly less bad now. Evil Auto, I think, is a little faster now, too. So, slightly angrier, Auto? Not sure. Not entirely sure how mines are going to help so far. So far, I don't see much. Let's use one anyway, just because. Well, that would have been helpful. Oh boy, <laughs> that couldn't have been much closer. Boy, I'm glad I didn't take damage there. That was bad. Cool, got all the robots. I'm definitely trying to every room I can. But running into enemy fire is hazardous to your health. Wouldn't recommend it. No, let's make you go this way, dude. Here comes a get. Here comes a guy. Ah, I don't think I have time. So I have a new strategy. Yeah. Strategy. It definitely worked out. <laughs> that didn't. Almost as quick as the health pickups arrive, they disappear. But unfortunately they don't arrive that quick is the thing. Ah, come on now. Thought I was safe there. I was not. Let's reset that room, shall we? Yeah. Do I want mines? Nah, particularly. Interesting. Okay, we've already come this way, haven't we? Okay. What are we missing? Have to retrace our steps. It would be nice if there was a map, but I don't think there is. I get lost very easily in games. This will be interesting. Back up just slowly enough to deal with the robots. 
Oh, I saw that timer. Don't worry, I was paying attention. Not something I always do, but I was paying attention there. There we go. I don't always pay attention, but when I do, I pay attention. Let's go. Okay, you're on the other side. All of you are. Dealing with the bombers one at a time. There we go. No thanks, Evil Auto. I don't want the intruder to be destroyed. I want the intruder to have a wonderful day. And maybe have a picnic later. Because the intruder is my friend. No. I'm going to fight like a human and take advantage of how the game is designed. And bail if Mr. Evil Otto gets angry. Because we don't want an angry Otto. We want a happy Otto. That's watching kitty cat videos or something. And having a pretty good week at work. Saying nice things about people. That's the kind of auto we want. He may disagree, but he's not me, so what do I know? Maybe Evil Auto just needs a friend. I'd rather not get hugged by him, though. There are better ways to spend an afternoon than getting lasered to death, quite literally. I don't want the chicken to be killed. Okay, let's double back this way, reset the timer, make auto come from the, from the south, so we have enough time to navigate around that room. Let's reset this room one more time. There, I think I have enough time now. If I don't, I can just come, go through the south door again. I have time. We're good. Alright, let's go. Wait, am I going backwards again? Yeah, I am. If there aren't any robots, we're definitely retracing our steps. Okay, let's go right this time. Did I go right last time? I did. Okay. So let's make a different decision this time. Okay, I think it's here, maybe. There we go. Alright. We have gameplay again. Because we do want the gameplay, don't we? Ah! Oh boy. I wasn't ready for auto this time. I am okay with being a chicken if I'm a live chicken. There we go. I'm going to stay in my jail. Okay, so how many of these have we done? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll play the jewel. Let's go. Oh good, I got the, got the tower there. Boy, that tower is tricky. Got the robot clear bonus. That's perfect. Are these mines again? They are mines again. Don't need one here. May need one later. We'll see. I don't see where it may come in handy, but I'll place one here anyway just because. Oh, that worked. Nice. That didn't. That double didn't. Rats. No, do not destroy the intruder. We want the intruder to live. Because he can tell a great story to his kids afterwards. If he has any. We don't know. We don't make those judgments. We don't make those decisions. Okay. I think I'm using my dash more as a movement tool 
and not to avoid fire, I need to work on using it to get out of bad situations more. And that was a problem I think I had when I played arcade mode for a bit. That wasn't bad. Boy, Evil Auto's got quite a pep to his bounce, didn't he? Okay. Radiance, let's go. <laughs> Walking into fire right away. The Dive Bomber seems a little quicker than they have been in the past. Let's start left and work our way right. And we have Electric Maze. I'm pretty sure that would hurt us, so let's avoid those. It's like we're supposed to avoid fire, but I'm not doing that. Do the one thing I'm not doing. That's probably wise. <laughs> okay. Evil Auto is fast again. Keep that in mind. He says to himself. Rats. Well, we can do better than that. Hopefully. Let's try not to take any damage. <laughs> oh boy, do I have perfect timing sometimes. For unintentional comedy. I'm not getting a high score doing this, but... Higher chance of living. And I'd rather live than have a higher score. I'm not a chicken. I'm fighting like an intelligent robot. Not yours. You're still green. Yeah, call me what you want. I'm still alive. Only took one damage so far, as far as my health is concerned. Still doing okay. Oh good. Got the towers. Towers, turrets, you call them whatever you prefer. They're basically the same. Annoying. Okay. I was kind of thinking to deal with the dive bomber as quickly as possible. Because I believe they're a little faster than the actual fire is. I'm not sure if that's always going to be the case. Because I think if I remember correctly, the few times I saw those uh, darker orange robots, their fire was faster, maybe? I know they fired more. Wait, that was it? I was on a tangent. Come on, game. That's rude. Okay. One more. I know there are more, but showing about half of these is a pretty decent sampler, I think. So people can definitely see what they're getting whenever they buy the game, if they decide to. Now let's reset that room. I know I only have about five seconds, but... Oh, no. I guess the timer for Evil Auto may be a little more generous in the first room. Or maybe you're going to be rude. That's exactly where I wanted to be. Okay. So is breakable glass the gimmick on this particular level? No. The gimmick is also mean robots. I'm down to two health already. I don't like this. He called me a chicken twice. I am fighting like a robot. A robot that's alive. Which I would like to continue being. If you don't mind, game. Living is important. Oh good, I didn't take any damage there. So robot fire can also destroy the glass. Oh no! One health left. Definitely going to have to try this one again, that's for sure.
Okay, we're going up. We're not killing the chicken. The chicken does not want to be KFC today. No thank you, game. I definitely want that health. Yes. I didn't see that. That's rude. Okay. We're not fighting like a robot. We're fighting like a silly person right now. I've taken way too much damage already. I think you might be faster than me, Evil Auto. Oh no, we're definitely playing this room smart. Yeah, call me what you want. I still haven't taken any damage in this room. Now that of course can change very, very quickly. I'd rather it didn't. We're not killing the chicken. We're going to let the chicken live today. That's the plan. I agreed to allowing the chicken to live. So that's what we're going to do. Kind of wish I still had shotgun here, but... Okay, we're definitely resetting this room. Oh good, that... Lucky errant shot did the trick. That didn't. <laughs> oh, come on now. I can do better than that. Okay. So I think even if we started at the right, we are going to double back and go to the left. But, I've got one health left, so I have to be very careful. Which I almost wasn't. Okay. Just resetting the evil auto timer. Moving on. Okay, so there's at least another room left. But I think we're getting pretty close. Ah, I'm not entirely sure that that got me. I thought I had a little bit of space left to kind of back up and avoid the dive bomber, but if you say so, game. Something that's interesting is I have to track the bullets even if I leave the room, which, I mean, makes sense, game, or in reality because all these are just open doors, I imagine. But in a lot of games... Ah, see? And in a lot of games, boys just disappear if you go from one room to another. I'm taking too much damage here, it's not good. No, we're not killing the chicken. I don't think I taste good. Not that I know. Not going to test that theory to find out. Okay. If I can deal with that tower. I am fighting like a robot. Just trying to keep things under control. Okay, halfway there. Okay, I backed up just enough to try to avoid any bullets that may have come through that room. I think that may be the play. I'm not sure if your health comes back if I leave the room. But a lot of you, which I'm glad the dive bomber is not one of, a lot of you now take an extra hit before being destroyed. Dealing with the dive bombers. 
Okay, I think this may be the play. So far, so good. Evil Auto's faster than I want him to be. But I think we'll be okay here. Is this the last room or is there one more after this? Okay. One, maybe two more rooms after this. Call me what you want. I'm still alive. Okay, I definitely want... Oh, come on now. Wait, did that damage me? I'm not entirely sure it did. But whatever happened, happened. That definitely damaged me. We made it! Yay! That was all ten missions that I would like to show. So let's try arcade mode just a couple more times, shall we? See if I'm any better this time. Let's see if that sampler of mission mode is going to help any. Unlike in mission mode, there's no doubling back here. Any decisions I make, I have to I have to keep and commit to. No, Mr. Otto, why did you go that way? You're a silly evil Otto. I probably called you Mr. several times during this video. But that's okay. I guess Mr. works before you're scary. Yellow auto isn't all that bad. Orange auto is closer to... Wait, what hit me there? Did you see that? I didn't. But maybe I'm less observant when I'm tired. Actually, that's not a maybe. That's a factual statement. A tired or not? This is really fun. I'm enjoying this game. It wasn't the uh, killer app. Just absolute masterpiece that I was kind of hoping, considering I haven't played a new Berserk game in years and years. Wait, is that a full restore? I think that is. Yeah, it is. And I was curious, so I researched it, and the original Berserk came out in 1980. Frenzy, the sequel, came out in 82. And this game came out uh, literally today, since I'm probably going to record this tomorrow. It came out on Thursday, November 9th. A full 41 years, or just a, a hair before, after Frenzy came out. 41 years. To be honest, I didn't have much faith in a new Berserk game coming out because Atari did not make Berserk, which I thought at first because when it came out I was very young and I thought Berserk's on the Atari. So Atari owns it. But that very much isn't the case as I learned later in life. But eventually, Atari bought Berserk, which I'm very glad about. Because the original 2600 version is also on the VCS, which I'm playing this on right now. And bizarrely, some people said that this can be played with a classic controller. But I've never seen anybody say that it plays well with a classic controller. I don't know what Eradicator does. I'm going to find out. This is experiment time. It does nothing to Evil Auto. I don't know what Eradicator does. 
Maybe it eradicates any chance of you destroying Evil Auto. As if there was even a chance that that could happen anyway. That was crazy, but we're still alive. And doing really, really well. Surprising for me. I wonder when the robots are going to change colors. I kind of think it may be every 10. We'll find out here in just a second. After we take unnecessary damage. Yep. So now we're at 10 with angry orange creatures and robots that don't have anything nice to say about us. Which I'm kind of disappointed in because I have nice things to say about me. I may have an awkward sense of humor, but I think I'm a nice enough guy. Not a nice enough guy to be shot at. I'd, I'd rather not get shot today. It's pretty much at the bottom of the list of things I would enjoy today. Uh, I'm not going to risk it. Even for the biscuit. Okay, still doing fine with our one health. A full restore would be amazing right about now. Now Evil Auto is definitely Evil Auto. Lots of glass in this room. Interesting. I don't want to be stuck here. Okay. I definitely needed an escape route in that one. I did not have enough time to destroy all the beasties. You know what? That's my best so far. So I'm okay with that. Let's see if we can find out where I am on the leaderboard. On the Atari VCS version of Berserk Recharge. 19th! Go team! That is not bad. But let's be sad here. 180,960? Going to have a long way to go to beat that score. But one thing that's cool though some of these people I was actually speaking to, well, chatting with on Discord earlier today and trying to see their different perspectives of the game, things they like and don't like. That's fascinating to me. And number eight, Dave Pa. He actually works for Atari. So you would think that he would be quite a ways up there. But there's a pretty big jump whenever you get to the top 10. Those are where you get the six digits. Look at all these people who've probably only played it a few times. Well, that was pretty interesting. I enjoy the game, and I'll definitely be playing it more. But... For those of you who may not be as interested, I'm not going to be playing this a ton on recording because one of the goals for this video is to show you exactly what you get if you want to buy this game. And I think I did that. Thank you for watching, everyone.